Kai Martinez Jones, born January 19, 2001. Today's story is a lesson in humility and how to not end up the story today and forgotten tomorrow. As you may have heard, second year center for the Charlotte Hornets Kai Jones has officially been waived just two days after infamously requesting a trade from the team on X. A move never before seen that was the bubble that began the boil over for the Hornets. This made the last of three strikes his conduct could be perceived as detrimental to the team and the business of the NBA. I call it a lesson because this is still a 22 year old young player that obviously has the work ethic it takes to even make it to where he did coming from the Bahamas, making a name for himself in two years of high school and prep ball and just two years in college before becoming the 19th overall pick in the first round of the NBA draft and he obviously believes in himself no matter how grander his delusions. With these two things in his favor, I can't and don't believe it's completely done for Kai Jones. But the work he laid out for himself on the journey he's about to embark will completely test his fortitude, his desire, his belief in himself and most importantly his development as a responsible adult because one thing these moves brought on by himself has shown is that in that area, somewhere, there's still much room to grow. He calls himself the GOAT and reps GOAT life. Well, the next few years will most certainly test that too because he'll have to be looking like the GOAT wherever he plays next to not be out the league for good after his four-year rookie contract ends. Looking at all the facts and what we can see results to, his game is another area growth is sorely required. Because even going back to the two years in college, he hasn't proved it logical to think outside yes, making the NBA, he doesn't have leaps and bounds of development left to go before he's anywhere near the conversation of even go to his own draft class or his own team. With that said, there can't be a conversation about Kai Jones' future and him possibly being done in the NBA without mentioning how good a player I personally think he is. Guys like Kai Jones, believe it or not, you don't find every day. A naturally high energy guy with infinite energy, I got infinite energy. I can't hold him. plays extremely hard, runs the floor and attacks the rim relentlessly like dare I compare to a young Giannis. In fact, I believe if Kai Jones can bottle his energy and add a few more things to his game like ball handling and better more confident mid-range to outside shooting could be a very surprising development to see. One thing's for sure, his basketball back is against the wall as he alienated himself from his teammates, team and the NBA. Three growth stunts that's threatening to end Kai Jones' career. What happened? Let's talk about it. Salute to the Trillis on IG for this request. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Kai Jones is a 6'11 center from Nassau, Bahamas that's had an interesting journey in basketball so far. Growing up, Kai was always a high energy kid that grew interested in track and field, specifically long jump, and actually aspired to pursue a career in track and field before he hit an insane growth spurt from 6'1 at 13 to 6'6 a year later and 6'9 at 15 years old. He played basketball for fun before then until his father advised him to maybe take basketball seriously and use his size plus athleticism to possibly get a scholarship. Speaking of academics, Kai was not some failed kid in that department. He was a 4.0 or higher student that had scores good enough to field Ivy League schools and if you listen to one of his younger interviews, you can understand why. Expecting the competition to be at the level it is, expecting the coaching staff to be as educated as they are and just everybody, you know, it's just a pleasant atmosphere to be around. And just how many ways he can score the basketball is just fascinating to me. And also, of course, LeBron James, the most dominant player in my mind ever. Goat time, oh yeah, I'm in a goat day. I had to do drugs or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> He decided to leave the Bahamas for his high school senior year and enroll at Orlando Christian Prep for the 2017-18 season. He helped his team win a 3A state title, graduating summa cum laude with hopes of being an investment broker. The summer of 2018, he really blew up at the NBA Global Camp in Italy before an outstanding prep year signing with the Texas Longhorns.
Stunt number one, the infamous live. Oh, I'm like, right there, the wall time was in the long jump pit, boy. I'm like, so I'm not a drug, man. I'm about to get traded. I don't know, I don't think so. I just met with Mr. Day. I don't think I'm getting traded. In September 2023, just before training camp rosters were set, Jones was seen on Instagram Live, high energy, and abundantly excited about not yet receiving the call that he's been traded, like his followers continue to troll him by saying. This was the first strike for Jones because that video went viral and had the majority feeling as if Kai Jones may have been high off the perks, snapping 30s or gone off the jiggers by his intense actions, slurred speech, and inability to sit still. Of course, realizing we live in a social media era where companies now have some sort of face or platform that represents their business, and that face for a trillion dollar company must be protected at all times. Being that drug use has always been a hot button for the NBA, and constant effort has been made over the years not to have an era like the 80s return, this live video and the highlights from it that went viral was taken very seriously by the Hornets and the NBA. Days before training camp was set to begin October 3rd, the Hornets announced Kai Jones would not participate and has been held out indefinitely for personal reasons. This can be interpreted in two ways. Either those personal reasons were as everyone thought and he was found to be using some sort of drugs, or the team deemed his actions unsuitable to represent their brand. Either of these, in my opinion, was an attempt to check Kai's temperature and see if his attitude had changed and he could show his main focus was still basketball. After all, it's not like they came out right away and released him. In the process of this live going more and more viral, Kai gets on X, formerly Twitter, and proceeds to call out some of his teammates, including LaMelo Ball, Mark Jones, Nick Richards, and Brandon Miller. This led to the entire team unfollowing him. This live placed he and by association, the Hornets organization under unwanted scrutiny that their player is clearly intoxicated and is misrepresenting the name and also the players. Of course, Kai Jones refuted those beliefs of drug use and assured he was simply excited not to be traded. That, with his Bahamian accent, I have to say I believe him. Drunk maybe, but in my opinion, no drugs involved. Nevertheless, it placed the team in position to sit him out of training camp, as his face was the last the team wanted around for media day and beginning a new season. Stunt number two, requesting a trade. On October 9th, Kai Jones shockingly requested a trade. In that seemingly harmless and everybody does it sentence, there's so much wrong with it that the outcome is the only that made sense. First of all, the manner in which you conduct business matters, and it's disappointing Kai Jones himself or someone around him didn't know posting his trade request on X would be a bad idea. Now you've made the team have to respond swiftly, publicly, and much harder than they would had it been done in a more professional manner. Which is why you have agents or at least access to a publicist that probably would have advised this should never have went down the way it did. Secondly, the timing of it was also a problem that worked heavily outside Jones's favor. Right before teams are finaling their roster in the midst of training camp, a time where there's no Kai Jones on the training camp roster, after going viral for a video displaying everything perceived wrong with professional athletes, and after having two lackluster years in the league so far that although have looked promising, hasn't amounted to high-level production as yet. The Hornets did respond swiftly and two days later announced Kai Jones has been waived. Jones continued to post watch and see as splurts on X, seemingly taking the news in stride, not realizing how much this hurts his immediate future and is forcing the NBA to sadly have to make an example out of such a promising player. Stunt number three, not in position for this behavior. It's obvious Kai Jones has some maturity issues at the very least and not speculating or insinuating he has other more serious issues as none of those accusations of drug use have been proven. But his behavior, whether high energy or high off the yurks, doesn't match the position he's currently in on the floor. 
you will usually see players at least wait to sign their first huge contract before branching out into displaying sides of themselves that may not be perceived positively to the public. But to behave this way just two years into your NBA career, averaging 2.7 points, 0.7 blocks, more turnovers than assists, one rebound, playing 9 minutes per game and just 67 game in two years does not give you much of a leg to stand on or leverage to publicly embarrass your team and teammates on multiple occasions. Not to knock his game because like mentioned, his NBA comparison Giannis in his first year didn't look much different than Jones. Giannis also was humble at that point and stayed that way even after winning a championship, finals MVP and being the best in the game for years. Jones unfortunately is still in make an example of me statistical position and again it looks like that's what the Hornets have chosen to do. All in all Kai Jones has gotta get it together. He's worked too hard to get here and has the talent to stay a long time. Hopefully he matures from this and is ready for his next opportunities to make it back to the NBA. He's not done but in for the test of his life behind his recent actions. Salute, much respect, but for these reasons his growth is being stunted. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth and I'm out.